And so the Bitcoin bulls continue to rally, climbing to new local highs. And the question now becomes, may this all just potentially be one gigantic bull trap? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Kirby here, your cryptocurrency expert, back with another edition of the daily live stream. What is going on, my friends? Today, I'd like to discuss Bitcoin and the action we're seeing inside the chart right now. Not only has Bitcoin been on an absolutely parabolic trajectory since putting in a local low at roughly the $9,100 region, but now we're coming up to potentially look to test this prior macro swing high at $11,150 roughly. This, my friends, is very, very important as Bitcoin has not stuck in a macro higher high since all the way back in June when we hit our peak at roughly 14,000 USD. So right now, for the first time in quite some time, Bitcoin is looking to retest this level and potentially create a new higher high. Also, now that we're up in this vicinity, inside this red box here, I want you all to pay attention. This red box has played as the catalyst and the launching pad for many absolutely heinous market movements over the past several months. This has been the range where we've either found support and ripped to the upside or found rejection and plunged to the downside. So right now, with what I'm seeing here, does this look like the launching pad for the bulls to rip to new highs? Or does this look like a resistance point and a bull trap for the bears to take control and send us down, deep down into the crypto abyss? So as a full-time trader, I'd like to discuss with you my strategy, my game plan, and how I plan to crush this market right now in the immediate term. So without any further ado, you guys already know the deal. If you like these daily crypto videos and nightly live streams, smack that thumbs up button, click the subscribe, tick the little bell, and let's get this crypto. Moon the likes, ladies and gentlemen. Moon them up. All right. So we'll begin with our Bitcoin technical analysis. And of course, before we begin, this is not investment advice. This is not trading advice. These are only my own opinions, ideas, and speculative hypotheses on the market. Always do your own research and your own due diligence before investing or trading, as this market is extremely high risk, and I am not your financial advisor. I will never tell you what to do with your trades or investments. That being said, let's begin right here on the four-hour time frame. I pointed out here that we found our low at roughly 9,100, maintaining this green box of tentative macro support. It all began here with a resistance level, which then turned into support before our rip to 14,000. Then upon the breakdown, we found support here yet again after plunging. Then we retested up, found support again there at 9,100. So this green box to me here has been a very significant support range for Bitcoin. And it could in fact be the bottom here of the macro trend if the bulls are going to take control. And this is what I'd like to discuss here now. So ever since this $9,100 bottom here, we have seen a parabolic advance. There's no uh, two ways about it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a classic hockey stick pattern formation, uh, a clear parabolic advance. But now we find ourselves inside this range where things are going to get very interesting. Now, if you are subscribed here, you would know that the lower high trajectory here, in my opinion, is classic bearish action, lower highs, and lower lows, just classic bullish, excuse me, classic bearish formation here after our peak at 14,000. But right now the bulls are coming up upon this area, which could negate the bearish channel. Now, for me, the bulls taking out this level here at roughly 11,150, right? This is the zone where for the first time since reaching 14,000 on a macro level, the bulls would surpass a prior swing high. Now, it's interesting because although we would take this level out, right, and all the moon boys, oh, Kirby, it's a higher high, we're going to the moon, I think is very, very high risk here, ladies and gentlemen. And the reason for this is that purely 
this whole zone up here, we have so much old historic price action, which could act as new resistance. Also, if we look now on our RSIs, on the four hour time frame, we are currently overextended. If we look on our one hour time frame, currently overextended, we look at our daily, the only one that's still healthy in my opinion, because then my friends, if we go over to the weekly, as we can see here, we are right now at the time of recording also at a 66 here, very close to overbought conditions. So the RSIs are looking uh, like they are a little overextended to me right now. We are in this range here already where we've seen rejection, not once, but twice here, just in the last swing alone, this is where we found our double top, which plunged us deep down into the crypto abyss. Personally, I shorted this right here. Shout out to my VIPs. You should remember that trade. We ripped back up and I shorted again inside this range, closed it all the way down here. Shout out to my VIPs. You probably remember that trade there as well. And right now, ladies and gentlemen, we're back in this range where the past two times that we've swung up here, we've got heinously rejected, right? You see these two levels. So for me right now, we're seeing a lot of overextension. When we look at the volume, we're still on a declining volume profile. Very concerning to me here, ladies and gentlemen, as uh, I'm not seeing that there's much FOMO or uh, anything of that sort right now. Average Joe and James at the water cooler just, you know, sweating. Oh, Kirby, I gotta go all in. Oh, I'm not seeing much of that right now. Uh, and this is why I love to pull up the uh, the worldwide Google trend data here as well. Uh, because if we look, ladies and gentlemen, ever since our peak in the trend back in late June, we're right now currently uh, at less than 50% of where we were in terms of Google trend volume at that time. The market has lost a lot of interest here in my opinion. Now, don't get it wrong, this provides opportunity for, for traders like myself as when James at the water cooler you know, is off frolicking in the fields we can find opportunities that the masses don't really find, right? And that is why I love to do uh, analysis each and every day for you guys here. I keep you in the loop. The chances are, is that if you're tuned into these streams, when the masses have gone away, right? Look at them, they're all gone. They're on holiday, ladies and gentlemen. They're on vacation. So if you're here tuning in each and every day, you understand that you are in the small, small minority right now, ladies and gentlemen, right? 70% of the James at the water coolers of the world, they're all sipping out of that cone-shaped cup right here, right now. And that's evident to me by this, by this indicator here. And this is the time, ladies and gentlemen, where if Bitcoin is ripping right now up into this region with no FOMO Joe in the market right now, right? As evident here by Google Trends, uh, to me, this is still going to remain a very hard level to burst through, right? We're already, you know, very, very overextended in my opinion on the RSIs. We have also the NVT, don't forget about the NVT, is still trading below that yellow level here, the 150, which, you know, historically here after remaining in the red zone for quite some time and then dumping below. It's led to immense sell-offs here in the market, ladies and gentlemen. Past performance is not indicative of future results, but as we all know, uh, you know, this, this is concerning for me here. And I had a, a question yesterday somebody did ask uh, in the comments and they said, but but Kirby, what about the, the NVT? It's all right to be down below the 150. Uh, sure, I mean, it's fine to be below 150. I mean, of course, on the way up, it's fine, right? I mean, it has to get overextended at some point. But the observation from the from the past data that we have here is that once it's been overextended for quite some time and then sharply drops below, the results in the short term have never been very good. So that's the observation there. It's not that we're just purely under 150. It's the fact that we rolled all the way up through here, sustained above it for a very long time, and now we've sharply dropped below it. Let's get this crypto. So that, my observation here is that this is still bearish to me on that indicator there as well. Now, uh, if we're going to talk about what needs to happen, well, obviously for the bulls, they definitely need to get past this $11,150 level. To me right now, it could happen, but I'm very uh, wary right now because of a very interesting 
theory that I want to present to you all here. And I know I'm going to present this, and then all of a sudden, ladies and gentlemen, everybody else, right? All the moon boys, all the crypto trading experts, they're all going to come out and and share this theory with you all because they all secretly listen to Don Don, right? You know this by now. Everybody listens to the Don because the Don presents it first. So let's let's dive into this theory here about why I believe this can be dangerous if we break this zone and why it could lead to be a gigantic, gigantic bull trap. But if you are just tuning in now, don't forget to moon up the likes, moon them up, smash those thumbs, click the subscribe button, tick the little bell, let's get this crypto. Satoshi needs a new pair of shoes. Sheesh. So... You know, per classical technical analysis theory, breaking above this prior high would be bullish, right? For the reasons I mentioned before, it would be a new higher high after a series of lower highs, right? So you are technically breaking the structure of the trend, right? Which is great from a bullish perspective. But ladies and gentlemen, the reason that this is is bothering me a little bit is because the trend right now, since the blow off top at 14,000, has been very bearish and we still when you look at this from a from a channel standpoint even if we break this region here it would not be out of the ordinary at all to test up potentially to the downward sloping resistance trend line before we go back down right and also if you see where this uh, level of the downward sloping trend line coincides that's with this red box up here with a ton of historic price action right peaks and supports all that can flip now into a new resistance zone right up in that region, right? You see that. And also, this leads me to the meat and potatoes of why this is concerning for me. So we have that, the classical technical analysis, right, that could provide some resistance up in this region. But also, ladies and gentlemen, once this, once this level gets broken, a lot of algorithm bots are going to uh, trigger in my opinion and, and just put in automated buys above the new higher high and also a lot of novice beginner traders are going to see this and discredit the, the technicals here and just look to go long from there and it may provide a temporary pop in the market but what worries me now is because you have to think about the market movers so what happens if the market movers know that getting above this region is going to provide a lot of buying action well it provides liquidity for those that are looking to sell and dump their bags on your head, right? So now, if there's not much liquidity in here because, uh, you know, everybody's still trembling like a leaf in the wind, no, resistance, oh, oh. And then you get above the level, right, that confirms, quote-unquote, confirms that the bulls are back in control, creating a new higher high. This, my friends the market movers may in fact see that a lot of liquidity will enter the market here and they can dump their bags without much slippage, right? Because say that right now uh, a large, large whale market mover wants to dump a ton of coins. This may cause slippage all the way down, you know, a, a long, long way down. But if a lot of buying activity starts occurring right above this higher high, the whale can dump his bag without much slippage because a lot of buy orders are now placed above the above that region thinking that the price has been confirmed bullish but then in fact all that james at the water cooler has done is provide liquidity for the whale to absolutely wreck him right do you see what i'm saying it's kind of a deep uh, a deep theory there but i want you to understand how my brain is thinking because don don carbonaccio always likes to stay one step nah nah two steps ahead of every bot algorithm and human trader inside this market i play this game to win ladies and gentlemen i don't sit here and look to just uh you know try and scrap by you know, by, by the, by the, whatever the term is, I can't even think about it right now. Uh, the thing is, is that I'm playing here to be one of the best in the game. And if you're not thinking along these lines, how do you expect to beat those that are right? And for me right now, I'm seeing that if we re get above this region, there's going to be a lot of new liquidity for whales here to dump their holdings on, on top of new buy orders. And also just on top of that, we have this entire region up here that may act as new support per the historic price action. And we also have the downward sloping resistance line, which may come back into play here yet again. Let's get this crypto. 
So this whole region, ladies and gentlemen, I'm seeing may in fact be a gigantic bull trap. Doesn't have to be. We could surely just negate all of it and go to the moon. I'm not saying that's an impossibility. But for me, I'm a realist. I trade probabilities, right? I trade what looks to me to have the best chance for success. Uh, right now, I am speculating to the downside. Uh, I mean, there's no two ways about it. Sure, I could, I may switch my strategy and go long eventually, but for now, uh, I'm looking at this opportunity more so for shorts than for longs. That's just my own opinion. Of, of course, I'm not your financial advisor. I'll never tell you what to do with your trades or investments. Uh, you know, the thing is for me right now, I am speculating short. Uh, and I am going to be keeping you all up to date in VIP with every single trade I make. You guys know that I shorted uh, this swing right here all the way down, closed down here. I shorted right here, closed all the way down here. And right now I'm shorting in here yet again. And I'm going to keep you all updated with my shorts. Uh, and if I switch to long, right, I'm ready to switch my strategy in the blink of an eye. I'm not caught in one direction, right? This is back in the day, ladies and gentlemen, right? Back when uh, we were more so like over here, right? And you still had a bunch of degenerates that never traded in their life, never even understood what Bitcoin was or anything. That that they they bought right here and I'm making analysis videos here every every day going listen guys I'm going short still like this market looks very bearish overall and I would have these degenerates oh Kirby you just hate Bitcoin and you don't understand the tech and you don't understand people uh, these people had been in Bitcoin for like two months you know they bought their first Bitcoins Kirby I bought $25 worth of Bitcoins uh, and they're telling me that I, I don't understand what's going on. Meanwhile, I shorted this entire market for nearly a year straight, uh, crushed it, got this crypto, uh, and now I've been longing since this region right here, uh, and I've been longing all the way up, and now ever since the peak here, I've been majority shorting yet again and it's been absolutely you know picture perfect for me ladies and gentlemen so right now sure the risk is very high in this region as you know we could just boom right through but i am seeing the makings here that this does have a lot of potential to be one gigantic bull trap uh and right now ladies and gentlemen this to me again seems like the spot and the trend that may provide a ton of potentially life-changing trading opportunity and why is this? Look at all of the times that this range has resulted in absolutely huge, huge swings. Look at it. Just from what I've circled there, one, two, three, four, five. So over the course of the past, since, since let's say June 19th, all the way till now, this range has provided five absolutely immense trading opportunities. And look where we are right now, ladies and gentlemen. Ding, ding, ding. Chicken wings for dinner, tofu if you're vegan. We are inside this range right now. So from what I'm obser observing here, Don Don Carbonaccio is seeing that we may get another one of these large, potentially life-changing cha trading opportunities here once again. And I'm not looking to squander this. I'm not looking to miss this opportunity. I'm looking to crush it like a two-ton man on a tuna fish can and get this crypto. And I'm going to be keeping you updated in VIP with every single trade I make in absolute real time to the exact second that I make my trades. I post every strategy for you, every entry for you, everything in real time, ladies and gentlemen. So if you'd like to see that from me, I'll keep you updated in VIP. Shout out to my VIPs and shout out to all of my new future VIPs joining VIP right now after this video. I will see you in VIP right now. Let's get this crypto. Uh, right now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the time is the time is here. I see that we've entered this zone of absolutely huge potential, as I've just outlined for you. And not only uh, does this look to me like it could uh, have still some short-term upside, but ladies and gentlemen, it could be met with a sell-off like this once we see that the whales indicate that they have enough liquidity to get rid of their bags. It all depends, right? It all depends. I just know. Uh, I can see completely that the bots and the algorithms and human traders, especially beginner traders, will add a ton of liquidity to the market if this new higher high comes in. And that 
uh, from a theoretical standpoint for a whale would provide a great area to sell without having to lose a lot to the slippage in the order book. Let's get this crypto. Um, so right now you better be ready, ladies and gentlemen, you better be ready to strike like a cobra out of the grass and get this crypto. I know I am right? And I speak about all this stuff, ladies and gentlemen, and these moon boys, oh, Kirby, technical analysis, just believe in the tech, Kirby, just believe in the tech. You're telling me to believe in the tech. You bought your first Bitcoin a month ago. Can't even buy a soup and a sandwich with the amount of Bitcoin you've got, James. You're telling me to believe in the tech. Sheesh. So when these moon boys come on here and they see Don Don Carbonaccio crushing these swings, getting this crypto, they can cry, but ladies and gentlemen, they can like it or they don't like it. But either way, they better learn to love it because this stream right here is the best thing going inside the cryptocurrency space today. Let's get this crypto. Diamonds are forever and so is Don Don Carbonaccio. Sheesh. So what do you think? Is this going to be a gigantic bull trap or are the bulls truly here to stay? We're going to have to wait and see. Either way, right now, I'm going to keep you updated in VIP with all of my trades here, ladies and gentlemen. Do not be getting wrecked. Do not be taking that trip to Wrecked City with Average Joe and James at the water cooler. You're better than that. Today is the day. It's time to transform yourself from Average Joe into Savage Joe. Let's get this crypto. I will see you in VIP right now. Shout out to my VIPs and shout out to all my new future VIPs joining VIP right now after this video. I will see you in VIP right now. Let's get this crypto. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, when all of a sudden you start to see all these other analysts talking about the liquidity above that higher high, you know where they got it, ladies and gentlemen. They secretly listen to the Don. So... Right now, I'm getting ready to strike like a cobra out of the grass. I'm ready to take aggressive positions here on potentially life-changing trading opportunity. I'm ready to crush it. Are you? Let's get this crypto. If you could one last time, ladies and gentlemen, moon up the likes, moon them up, smash those thumbs, click the subscribe button, tick the little bell, and let's get this crypto. I'm going to be posting my trades in VIP for you in real time. I will see you all in VIP right now. Shout out to my VIPs and shout out to all my new future VIPs joining VIP right now after this video. I will see you in VIP right now. Let's get this crypto. And until next time, my friends, the Don has spoken. Be safe, be happy, be healthy. It's your boy, Crypto Kirby. Peace and love, my friends. Curbs.